Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we're going to be doing my paycheck number one budget for the month of March. Um, if you're new, the last business day of the month is when I get paid. So I will get paid on the 28th, but technically it should be like the 29th if that was on a Friday. Um, if you're not new, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? and welcome back and if you are new hello and please consider subscribing down below so what do i have on hand i have my erin condren deluxe monthly planner um i have a palette precise v5 little click pen here and i actually like this pen let's hope i don't lose it um my zebra my liners and this is an old pack um some samples from planner Kate that I got and my free spirit sticker book so in my calculator of course I'm sorry um, as we go through this what I'm going to do is fill in the dollar amounts at regular speed and then as I decorate I'm going to speed the video up so that way you guys get to get back to a day quicker and I did write the categories on here just so I could judge my spacing and everything and I thought I would speed this video up. I know like my um, allocated spending plan and my monthly cash flow plan videos were really, really long. And I wanted to make sure this one was short and not as long as those. And I also have that. So what about that? The allocated spending plan. I do have that. I did make an error when I was writing on my allocated spending plan on the video right here. Um, after I subtracted out 25, it gave me $8.90.99. I wrote down $8.40.99, but I kept all the numbers and everything the same. So I had to go back in and wrote, uh, write that down. And it's actually in purple. It's a little weird little thing. So I did take care of that. And so that will be off to the side so I can get my dollar amounts for my budget here. So let me get you guys zoomed in and we can get started. Okay, so my handwriting may be a little bit too small for you guys. Um, I'm not sure, but please let me know if this is too small and I need to write bigger or something. I need to move this little bracelet up my sleeve. So for gifts, I am budgeting 52. 76 and I do one of my sons um, have a has a birthday coming up in May and so my sons will get 60 that's automatically taken out of my check um, $75 goes into car maintenance clothing is just going to get 10 subscriptions let me look at this 3781 And since that's a new amount, it's a little bit hard for me to remember right now. Medical is 10. That's mainly for my um, medication that I use for my sinuses. Um, insurance is 40, which I still need to call them. You guys, I'm a slacker. 52, 76 plus 60 plus 75. Plus 10, plus 37, okay, 37.81, let's slow down, plus 10, plus 40, 285.57. Okay. So the next thing we have is health insurance. I pay eleven twenty-two. That automatically comes out of my paycheck. I put it in my budget um, so I can see what's going on there. If anything goes up, I've had some instances where things go up and I don't notice it. So I like to monitor that. Um, $3.48 for 
my identity theft and $25 for renter's insurance. Okay, $39.70 for my insurance. And so only my renter's insurance is the one that I actually have auto drafted out of my checking account. These two come out of my out of my check. I guess if I leave it right here, I can see that, but I hope this is clear for you guys. Um, now let's go over my rent. My rent is $990.85. Ooh, this cool is killing me right now. Let's see if I can write here. Uh, groceries is going to be three twenty-five. Laundry is going to be forty-five. Household is going to be fifty. Restaurants is my same forty. Personal, I get one hundred dollars. And this is where I take my stickers. It comes out of that. Uh, gas is fifty iCloud is $2.99 and I am going to look into the gift card from Sam's. Thank you guys for all of these suggestions that you guys have been giving me. Um, I don't forget them. I'm just slow. $9.90, $9.95, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25, $3.25,
for this paycheck is um, I got to claim some rebates off of Ibotta and I think I might claim receipt hog or I may let that roll I haven't decided yet and then $50 savings from my cash envelope from the month of February so I'll know Saturday if I got that 50 or not or if I need to make an adjustment because let's say I only save 40 then I have to reduce this by $10 what I paid to that but if I save 50 this stays if I save more I can increase what I put to that and so let me get out my little highlighter here and the next thing I'm going to do is um, after I do this and this is just so I can see where my totals, where my headers and stuff are, like at a glance. I'm getting a little older, so I spend most of my time looking at a computer screen. And so I need things to kind of stand out for me at first glance. So now I need to capture what my cash envelopes are going to be. And I have these from Planner Kate. That's a sampler. Now, all of these are samplers, really. And I have these. I had one batch of samplers that I gave away. So, let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stick with my circles like these. This one. And this one it's kind of peachy yeah I think those will go better and so what I'm going to do is put these down but what I'll do is when I get my money I'll come back and I'll check these off so I know I gave it to myself um, when I get really, really busy or really stressed at work, sometimes I forget that I've done something and I'll go and try to do it twice and I'll confuse myself so bad because I don't remember doing things. So I have to leave, <laughs> I leave breadcrumbs for myself so I remember that I've done certain things that I don't make a mess with my money. Um, it's actually how if you look at my student loans and where I'd show you guys what the amount is for each loan is how there's a difference between L and M. There's M has a lower balance than L. That's not how it started out. One day I came home tired from side hustling and I had to go online and make, pay, make a payment and I paid the wrong loan by mistake. So there. That is done. So now I'm going to zoom back out start decorating and then we'll wrap up So now I'm all done and I just added a little bit of flowers just for this one because that kind of goes with the theme of the washi that Sarah Marie's kid had for the month of March and I put a little quote on here you were made to bloom yeah because it is March and it's gonna be springtime I'm happy and um, yeah <laughs> about that because that's gonna be interesting for me and so I hope you guys have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you guys have a great one. Bye.